Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. For today's vlog, um, dadalhin namin si Vivo sa vet kasi may nangyari kasi sa kanya. So, bale, um, kanina, pag-uwi namin, nakita namin na merong siyang sugat. So, dadalhin ko siya ngayon sa vet. Waiting lang ako sa driver ko para ihatid ako dun sa vet. Actually, yung vet na pinagdadalhan namin sa kanya, yung nandun yung na nakaregister siya dun and uh, may passport siya and everything. Walang doctor na available. Eh, sabi ko, emergency. So, kailangan ko siyang dalhin sa ibang vet. So, ngayon, nadalhin ko siya sa The City Vet Clinic. Samahan niyo kami kung ano nangyayari kay Vivo kasi hindi pa namin talaga siya totally alam. Basta alam ko lang na may sugat siya. I hope okay lang si Vivo kasi medyo ninerbis ako eh. First time ko kasi. First time na fur mom ng cat. Yung mga dogs namin never nagkaroon ng experience sa ganito. So first time ko lang magkaroon ng alagang pusa. So medyo ninerbis ako kasi medyo malaki siya eh. Parang poknat na parang reddish na siya. Nakita ni Mayor kanina pagdating namin sa bahay. E, tapos pinakita niya sa akin. Sabi niya, baby, merong ano nga, may sugat. Pero wala, wala yun kaninang umaga. Nung pag-uwi namin, hindi ko alam kung ninatngat niya or whatever. Pero nakita nga namin na parang may hole. Yung parang ng poknat. Sabi ko, dalhin na natin siya sa, sa clinic para ma-check kung ano nangyari sa kanya. Do a full checkup on Beavers. His mucous membrane and carried eyelid looks quite normal and nice. No signs of ulcers or inflammation in the cornea. No gingivitis. Got really nice teeth. A very nice Hollywood smile. Lymph nodes are normal. His ears are clear and clean. Okay. Check you, everybody. Oh God, I'm so scared. <laughs> it's okay. Is his poop normal? Yeah, it is normal. I'm really sorry, buddy. Let me just take a look to make sure that no other wounds are around. Who hit you? Did you hit him back? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> okay, I don't think there is any other bites. Haven't seen any. But sometimes... So uh, this is bite? That's a bite wound that had been left for a long time. I did an abscess under the skin. Oh. So there's, this is a, what we call a bite wound abscess. You can see it here. And there is a pus that is coming out. You see that white stuff? Yeah. That is pus. It's quite painful and inflamed. What we're we gonna do now, we're gonna take a sample from that pus okay. and do a culture and sensitivity test. The results will appear in 48 hours. In the meantime, we're gonna shave this area, all of that hair right here, to zero. Okay. So we can clean it nicely and flush it nicely. And then we'll send him home with some medications that you will be given to him until the results of the culture appears. Okay. When the results appear, we either will add medication or change medication or we will stick with the medication that we started today. Okay. So, uh, 
yeah, we'll do this now. I'll make an estimate for you to let you know how much these are gonna cost. Okay, sure, please. Um, would you like to do any blood tests for them? So there's a bunch of viral diseases that can be transmitted through yeah. wounds mm -hmm. in cats, like HIV, coronavirus, and okay. stuff like that. Would you like to do check check him for something like that? Yeah, please. Excellent. I will make an estimate for you to let you know how much this. Okay? Yeah, please. Thank you. Did you do? <laughs> Thank you. He's gonna be fine, don't worry. It's, it's minor, it's nice. Because probably he thinks that it's his so super friendly. Yeah. And then yeah. <laughs> someone just Is now picks. Okay. Is he castrated? Yeah. Good. So do you think how many days it has been since he got bitten? At least four. Four days? Four days. Because for the time that pus and abscess happens and then it gets open, it takes around four to five days. Oh, so it means it's been there for a long yeah, time. Yeah, because he had a long hair, long hair, couldn't really see it. Oh. When did he get groomed? I have no idea. It's this after no, when, when did he get changed? Ah, the, the groom, um, like two weeks ago, I think. Two weeks ago. Yeah, good thing that we groomed him. Yeah. Because <laughs> he have a lot of hair. Okay, we're done. We're done. All right. If I use first box. Sorry? If I need. You will keep the blood mm -hmm. first? We need to corona and if I did correct. Yes, sir.
pretty happy cat, isn't he? So you give him medications at home and all you're gonna do is to wash it with this oh. like that okay okay i don't want you to rub it don't want you to do anything else until the results of the biogram appears okay i'll give you a call i'll see him in two days we can we will shift the antibiotics either shift it add to it or stay on it okay according to the rules okay okay that's all for today okay so this is just a Water or what this is, is it? normal saliva, it's just salted water and it's gonna decrease the uh, opportunity of him getting or the material to re um, replicate. On okay, the got that. We're not gonna add any medications or any topical treatment for now until I see him in 20 48 hours. Okay.
Okay na po yun, ha? No, gusto na. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha? Pain yung Ah, okay. Yeah, because it's from That's why. Okay, I'm going to put it on the I'm going to kanina kaya nakita namin sa apat na hindi na kayo pagkat pag nilis mo ha? pag nilis mo pa hindi na kayong pagkat <laughs> hindi, hindi na nga nagat ka ano lang talaga siya masakit <laughs> oo kaya nga nagulit Saturday after 5 so you can, you can come at 6 or 7, so when the full reading appears. Okay, sure. When you come in the next time, we'll do a bit also another wound clean for him, but it will be less painful because now it's very inflamed. Mm -mm. We can't really touch it without sedation. Mm -mm. Please make sure that he comes a little bit fasting at least for 6 hours in the food, just in case if we need it to sedate him so he doesn't go through all of this again. Yeah, okay, sure. Yeah? Yeah. Medications. Uh, you are not going to give tablets, all you're going to give is the uh, oral serum. Did you feel about it yet? Not yet. Did you feel about to give it yet? Not yet. Okay. He will be getting 2 ml once daily for 7 days. Now I'm going to give him his dewormer tablet and then I will show you how to give his uh, medications. I'm going to do the medication today, so you don't have to give anything tonight. It will start tomorrow after food. Okay? After food? After food. The medication should be given after food. Okay. But this is once every day only, right? Yeah, okay. once every day. It should be very easy. Hey, buddy. Feeling better now? Hmm? Our friends now? Okay. No biting, please. Alright? You don't want to catch this in video. Good job. Ah, good job. It's not the biting type, that's why he got bitten with me. Mm, he's very nice. He's yeah. very quick, cute. Very sweet cat. He's just in a lot of pain. Yeah, true. Mm. If you take a look at it, you can actually see the parts. Yeah, I saw You see that the subcutaneous and the muscle area is very inflamed and the surrounding areas are very, very inflamed as well. This is why it's very painful now. Mm -mm. After those 48 hours, it start being dry mm -mm. and less painful, less inflamed because of the antibiotic. Mm -mm. Um, did we give him the painkillers already? Yes, no. Excellent. All right, so the medication is glendomycin. He will be getting 2 ml. The way you're gonna do that is by the series. This is a 3 ml syringe. You will you will just take until 2. Okay. Okay? And you put it directly in the mouth. You will take 2 ml. 
okay? It might sound like great, he might not like it in the slot, but that's okay. Put his head up and you go behind the kinine teeth mm -hmm. and give him a little bit. Let him drink it and then you continue. He's such a sweet cat. Good boy. So we go behind the canines and just little by little give him some time to swallow it. Almost there, buddy. Only one more ML left. Come on. Yeah. Good boy. You're a good boy. Here you go. That's all. <laughs> that should be very easy to be done at home. That's, that, that's, the sea lion is very important to play it on the moon. Yeah. I want you to do this three to four times a day. Okay. Okay? Yeah, sure. So, ayun guys, naka na nga kami sa bahay. And unfortunately, si Bivo ay nakagat ng pusa. So, for sure, yung pusa dito dun sa kabila. Um, parang semi stray siya. Pero ang nag a kasi dun sa, sa pusa na yun is yung natur or yung caretaker namin. Nakakasad lang kasi ang laki ng wounds niya. And medyo magastos din. So, praying na within this week or within the following days, maling siya agad para makaano na siya. Kasi um, right now, um, nakakone siya. So, hindi siya makakain ng maayos. And um, sinusubuan ko lang siya ng treats. So, hopefully, maging okay na siya sa upcoming days. Tapos, i-update ko kayo sa Saturday. Kasi sa Saturday, meron siyang uh, follow-up check-up. So, i-update ko kayo, guys. Um, pero, i-upload ko na tong video na to sa Friday. And, um, yung follow-up check-up niya sa susunod na um, araw na lang. So, yun guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hindi siya masyadong maganda kasi nga injured yung aming baby. Pero, um, sana nagustuhan nyo and sana um, supportahan nyo po ang channel ko uh, palagi. Uh, please do like, share, and subscribe my YouTube account and also follow me sa lahat ng social media accounts ko. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!